I've been fighting my whole life. It's not a choice for me. I'm ready. Adonis, I would like it very much if you would come and stay with me. What a great scene, and it's mainly good because it shows how kids need a sense of being wanted, especially a kid that's been in the system and probably looked down upon his whole life. <laughs> This scene is in a good category because it's a nice scene directing wise with the camera going around the room and Adonis knocking them out. You know I ain't training, ain't nobody training you. I'm gonna make sure about that. This scene is in a good category because I understand why he doesn't want to train him, even though he is Apollo Creed's son. He basically feels he's coming from a place of privilege and he's really only doing it for notoriety. These boys come in here, this is how they survive. They gotta fight for life. Even though Adonis has grown up with a tougher or just as tough life as everyone in there. <laughs> Told y'all he wasn't ready. Everything about this scene is good. From Michael B. Jordan's acting. Don't you, don't you, huh? Kill her, right? Where was you at when I was in group homes, huh? You miss a meal? To the boxing visuals. You pick who's next. I'm next. To the directing from Ryan Coogler. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I ought to knock you out myself. <laughs> Felicia Rashad, man. This is 24-7. Conlon Wheeler. This montage scene is in a good category because I think it's a nice and clever way to give off quick exposition about the other fighters in the movie. A champion in a dark and extraordinary predicament. While also progressing the plot and keeping the movie's main focus on Adonis. A challenger uninterested in a hero's send-off. What if you lose that there, it breaks? It's already up in the cloud. What cloud? What cloud? <laughs> This scene is good with Adonis and Rocky showing their age and Adonis trying to get Rocky to train him. The actors and the acting in the movie will also go in the good category. The movie does a nice job creating a good backstory for the new characters while extending on the stories of the old characters. Starting with Michael B. Jordan as Adonis Creed, he ends up being great in his role as he gives a good performance. Next, Sylvester Stallone turns out to be good as Rocky as well. And Tessa Thompson is a great inclusion as Bianca. So with that, the movie earns a 1.0 out of 1.0 for actors and acting. You should be able to grab one of these birds. 30 seconds? Yeah. In your dreams. This training scene is in a good category because it's not only entertaining and provides good music, it also shows Rocky actually teaching Adonis useful stuff. That's your toughest opponent. I believe that in boxing, and I do believe that in life. Hey, everyone's ever disrespected. You see them. Do I care there's two training montage scenes within 15 minutes of each other? Hell no. This one is dope as well. Anything you ever want. Go after it. Bow. On the other hand though, what's still bad about this training is there's no video of Adonis looking at footage of Leo fighting, trying to figure out his tendencies. And that's definitely needed. Can we talk about the directing in this scene? From the cut appearing on Adonis' eye to the camera work during the match? Sheesh. Of course that goes in a good category. The visuals and the stunts of the movie will also go in a good category.
The boxing visuals and the stunts are good throughout the movie as it's carefully directed by Ryan Coogler. So with that, the movie earned a 0.5 out of 0.5 for visuals and stunts. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of taking on the name and losing. Don't call me a fraud. Fake Creed. This scene goes in a good category because it's a nice scene that shows why Adonis is afraid to use the name Creed. And the reason is really good and makes sense for the movie. I'm good. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> the movie including Rocky's cancer isn't a bad inclusion in the movie. It's in a good category because even though it does take away from Adonis' story a little, the plot point still does a nice job having Adonis come face to face with his trauma of abandonment. I am to you just an old trainer. We're not a real family. And the movie having Rocky explain that to him is a great inclusion. And I know what it's like to feel abandoned and be mad at everything. Forgive him. It's taking a toll on you. Not to mention it helps with the emotional weight of the film. And when it comes to the drama in the movie, it ends up being good as well. <laughs> the drama of Adonis trying to make it in the boxing world while dealing with his own traumas is great in the movie. And even the cancer portion of the movie with Rocky isn't a bad inclusion. So with that, the movie earns a 0.5 out of 0.5 for drama. We usually do that with one hand. I don't want to say anything, though. But, <laughs> so. Wait, 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 wait. Another training montage with chemo included? Yep. I also like how they're studying film with Conlon as well to prepare for the fight. The music and the score in the movie is also in the good category. The movie does a nice job including some good music that ends up being impactful during the training montages, while also including a classy Rocky theme during parts of the movie. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.2 out of 0 0.2 for music and score. Let's go. Yeah. This scene is in a good category because it's another dope scene directing wise with the camera going around Adonis while he warms up and then walks to the ring. And I didn't even mention the entrances. And this is only part of the reason why the directing from Ryan Coogler is in a good category also. Coogler does a nice job incorporating iconic shots in the movie, as he does a nice job bringing the story of Donna's Creed to life. So with that, the movie earns a 1.0 out of 1.0 for directing. Conlon lands a shot after the bell. This first round scene is in a good category because it does a nice job showing how outmatched Adonis is compared to Conlon. And round one was all Ricky Conlon. Kneel for you now, boy. Kneel for you now. There's a perfect right hand shot by Green. This scene is in a good category because this is just a great fight in the movie. Not only entertaining, but immersive enough to keep the audience involved. This is such a great emotional scene with Adonis being knocked down in the movie showing Adonis' life, which is why it's in the good category. But on the other hand though... <laughs> It's also in a bad category because he was definitely down for at least 10 seconds. I mean, he saw his whole life flash before his eyes in less than 10 seconds? I'm stopping this one now. Don't, okay, let me finish. I gotta prove it. Prove what? I'm not a mistake. This scene is in a good category because it's just another great emotional scene detailing Adonis' mission in this movie. He's not only trying to prove it to everyone, he's trying to prove it to himself too. And that's why the plot and the story of the movie is in a good category also. The plot and the story goes through a great origin story for Adonis Creed as the movie does a great job giving depth to the character with his backstory. And then making that backstory a substantial part of the movie, all while keeping the movie entertaining. So with that, the movie earns a 1.0 out of 1.0 for plot and story. Closing seconds of the fight. That's what I'm 
talking about. This scene is in a good category because it's a great way to end the fight, even though Adonis ends up losing in the end. An unforgettable fight on an unforgettable night. He's no longer just the namesake of Apollo Creed. He's the living embodiment. Okay, so if the editing of the movie remains a 0 0.3 out of 0 0.3, we have all the numbers. So let's add them up. So the movie ends up with a 4.5 out of 4.5, and that gives it a 